And then, of course, there's the clots. <gasps> I'd like you to kind of feel Yeah. You can kind of hold it's on. It's like to a rubber it. band almost. Yeah, like a rubber band or like calamari. So of course that explains people stroking out like And that was my concern in the very beginning of all this. The whole thing was as I'm seeing all of these strange clots. I have to admit, I've seen a few strange things too. Look at this. It's like an elastic band. Actually, it is an elastic band. I didn't have any dead bodies lying around to pull clots out of. If I had, though, it probably wouldn't have been too hard to find some clots because clots in dead bodies are known to form after death. And this is nothing new. Many textbooks contain tables showing how to distinguish clots formed antemortem, that is before death, with clots formed postmortem, i.e. after death. And here's one such table here. As you can see, antemortem clots are dry, granular, firm and friable, whereas postmortem clots are gelatinous, soft and rubbery. Hmm, rubbery. Where did we just see that? Postmortem clots also take the shape of the vessel that contains them, and the surface is chicken fat yellow, covering the underlying red currant jelly. And this is what they mean by chicken fat and currant jelly clots. Look familiar? So why would embalmers in the US suddenly be seeing more of these post-mortem clots as they are claiming? Well, a possible explanation is that due to all the extra deaths as a result of the pandemic, bodies are waiting longer to be embalmed, allowing more time for clots to form. Now, obviously, I'm not a medical doctor, so I could be wrong about the clots in the video being post-mortem clots. But even if they are anti-mortem clots, there is a much more logical explanation than blaming it on vaccines. It is well established that COVID causes clots, and the US had over a million COVID deaths. And that's just the deaths where COVID is listed as the cause. It doesn't include those who die after COVID.